Well, the year's gonna end with quite a few bangs as we have several battles with more people dying for no reason! Yay! Hello and welcome to Civil War in Hindsight. I'm Lieutenant Tommy. With me, as always, is Prospector Johnny. And, uh, and Johnny, it's not a quiet end of the year. I was hoping that since it got no. cold, we, but it this would is get quiet. That week between, between Christmas and New Year's that nothing happens. Everybody just hangs out, forgets that time exists. You know, you don't do anything. And, but apparently, we are not doing that in this war, yeah, apparently. Yeah. We're apparently we forgot that. Getting Mocha. into some shit. There is quite a bit that happens this week, so let's get into it. It's going to open up on the 26th of December, the day after Christmas here. Uh, Sherman advances his line near Vicksburg at Walnut Hills in Haynes Bluff. Uh, Morgan is continuing his operations against Rosecrans Railroad Lines in Kentucky near Nolan with Forrest withdrawing from Grant's line after several successful raids. So, we got two raiders, one starting, Ooh. one's leaving. Okay. One yeah. over by Grant, one over by Kentucky and Rosecrans. Oh, a bunch, bunch of, of shit, shit going on there for the raiders. And Johnny, remember those Indians that were sentenced to hang? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. They got I hung. assume uh, they had a Christmas miracle. Nope. They got, well, one did. One got. One One of them did. But Hold on. I, not that I'm not pleased that one at least got saved, but why would one not... Why? Why wouldn't? Why? Okay, you're, why? Gonna have to, you're gonna have to ask Lincoln that re one because I I don't have an answer for you on why one got uh, pardoned. He just but was the it the one that had like a, d a defense didn't. attorney that said, "Hey, these guys just uh, were retaliating to poor treatment and being starved." Yeah, because remember this whole war, they don't deserve to die. Yeah, the whole war was over uh, us not paying them. That's the only them. guy. And Lincoln's like, oh, no, that's a good argument. That's fair. We can deal that. That guy's free. The rest of them, though, they were they were just doing it out of the mm -hmm. meanness of their hearts. And mm -hmm. so they mm -hmm. will die. Um, well, well, it's like I've they're... always said, uh, Lincoln Lincoln sure is uh, our most fair president He's of fair, all time, very fair. forever. So he has oh. made good decisions. On the 27th, Johnny, Sherman continues trudging through the swamps by Walnut Hills and Haynes Bluff, engaging Confederate pickets at Snyder's Mill. Uh, Rosecrans is moving his forces towards Murfreesboro, Tennessee, with his sights on Bragg. And Morgan's Raiders are going to take a Union garrison at Elizabethtown. Somebody deal with this guy before he becomes more of a menace. They took a Union garrison? Yeah. They took, they're not just a city? Yeah, like, a, like, I'm, not just some bunch of unarmed folks? They walked in and took... They're the army yeah. trained soldiers. Yeah, remember he did this the last time and like walked train, in and they're train, like train soldiers to double double the troops that he had and he's like we're here to take it and they're all like okay we're not gonna fight even though we outnumber you like okay. Hey. What do I know about fighting? I'm just an ordinance dude. Uh, uh, well, nothing. Important the news here. Anyways, on the 28th, Sherman continues his push, uh, this time near Yazoo, uh, and Morgan continues to break things, this time a bridge at Muldra's Hill near Lincoln's birthplace. So he's breaking shit where Lincoln was born, so... I mean, that's Slapping just face. disrespectful. We need... You know, somebody just musket to the head. Something. Uh, but... Like... What are we doing? We do have good news, Johnny. Uh, the Federal Army of the Frontiers under James Blunt is going to engage Confederates at Dripping Springs, Arkansas, push them back through Van Buren, capturing 40 wagons, four steamers, and various other equipment. We got a victory here. It's something. All it's, right. We Look haven't had that. beautiful. Haven't had Love something that. for a while. Now we got something. We're getting a, we're getting a fight. Yeah. Gloves on. James Blunt doing it for us. Get, get, get. Getting, a, getting some fighting on. gloves on. Yeah, I, get it. Uh, I mean, not quite like the, the million dollars worth of shit that the Confederate got last week, right? But yeah, no, but it's 40 good. wagons and some steamers and uh, some other equipment, that's, so that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's on good. the 29th, we're going to have the Battle of Chickasaw Bayou in Mississippi. Uh, so I guess of course. we're not going to be done with fighting this year. Uh, Sherman's forces are going to continue his advance to Vicksburg. The Confederates are going to start a mm -hmm. fire at the foot of the bluffs north of Vicksburg to slow down Sherman. But Sherman says, I don't no. care about no fire. I'm going to march right through it. Just walk right through it just because his men are fire. Which he does. But his tenacity nice. oh, is going to be squashed. 
by a uh, smaller portion. As everybody catches fire um, and dies. No, they don't do that. But they, uh, he does face a no. smaller portion of Pemberton's army who holds off Sherman's larger army. Sherman outnumbers him like two to one and gets his ass kicked. That's embarrassing. And here we are, Johnny, the battle. The, uh, Sherman is going to lose 208 killed, 1,005 wounded, 363 missing to Confederates. 63 lost, 134 wounded, and 10 missing. We got our asses kicked in this one. What the hell? Whoops. Did we not go in with weapons? I don't know. Did they forget? That was a whoopsie. Did they, they're like, you know what? We're just we're gonna go in uh, bayonets only, boys. Let's see. <laughs> we're gonna a self-imposed challenge. We'll see how we do. Because uh, that's see, like that's the only way Slaps you could be only. that lopsided. Yeah, that's bad. This is bad. Holy uh, crap. Again, Sherman outnumbered his God, opponent two to one. That's worse so than that. Real bad. that. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Uh, wow. Oops. <laughs> December 30th, Sherman's going to lick his wounds in his position at Chickasaw Bayou. Uh, Rosecrans continues his movements towards Murfreesboro with skirmishing at Laverne, uh, Rock Spring, in Nolisville, Tennessee. Morgan is continuing his withdrawal now. Um, uh, he's kind of Still he's in Kentucky, it. but now he's oh, made, he's made okay. a circle. He's now kind of exiting out of Kentucky. He's going to raid in Springfield and New Haven, Kentucky. Uh, Lincoln is going to submit his final Emancipation okay. Proclamation, like what he wants to announce to the public. He's going to oh. submit that. Yeah, he's oh, going to submit that it. to the That's cabinet. Great. He's going to emancipate for final review uh, before uh, issuing the order oh, at the new year. He yeah. wants on January first. He wants to issue the Emancipation Proclamation. Oh, that's when we'll have our. That's yeah. great. That's okay. Oh, something to look forward to. That's uh, uh, the slaves will finally be free, right? Mm, that's sort of. Uh, and, and he's going to write <laughs> a letter. We're after. Yeah, we're just, he's going to write a letter to Burnside saying that, and I quote: "I have good reason for saying you must not make a general movement of the army without letting me know." He is now slapping Burnside on the hand, saying, "Listen, I know we had the conversation last week where I said that your army was brave and great and all that fun stuff, but please don't do yeah, any but, uh, other brave things without at least letting me know yeah, quit being, what you're doing before that. you do it, because." Yeah. Can't really afford you to do that yeah. again. Yeah. He might also want to write yeah. that letter to Sherman, though, too, because Sherman kind of screwed the pooch. Well, I mean, he might want to just tell Sherman to take yeah. a seat, pal, because, what? I mean, good God. Not great so far. I've got... Uh, 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 who could do worse than him? More bad news, Johnny. Uh, the USS Monitor, remember that ironclad ship that we made, our secret all-iron boat that yeah. miraculously didn't sink uh, yes. during the Battle of the uh, Ironclads? Uh, it sunk uh, in a storm off of... Uh, well, I mean, yeah. That's Hatteras not, Inlet. It's, it's metal. It's, I, it, it, it is slapped on. It's just weights. It, it anchors slapped yeah. on the sides of it. it it's it's so going to kill surprising. 16. But what, it, it doesn't matter. That yeah, matters, gonna, okay. That may yeah. uh, it kills sixteen men, uh, officers and men. Uh, the USS Rhode Island is actually luckily there to rescue forty-seven officers and men, so at least some of the crew gets off. That's, That's good. That's good. Uh, and now, just a short while Excellent. from the Great Battle of the Ironclads, you know, with less than a year out, and both of those Ironclads are at the bottom of the waters. So, yeah, because guess what? Iron ships are not the future. Like. It, it, I hope they are, Johnny, because we are only building on. iron ships right now. So, what? Yeah, that's we terrible. We really went full time. force into this, but I guess it doesn't matter. We already, we already won the naval part of it. Yeah, the, the water, the battle in the water is pretty much over. Yeah. Uh, so I guess they can go ahead and have fun sword. building their sinking ships all the, all over the place. Metal doesn't. Hey, work, it's guys. New Year's Eve, Johnny. It does. Uh, it's New Year's hey, Eve, Johnny, Year's uh, Year's and we're going to ring right. it in with a battle of Murfreesboro, a.k.a. Stones River, or at least the start of this battle, we're because it on is these. not mm. going to end this week, but we get the start of it. Oh, Rosecrans okay. is going to position so his army. One. Yeah, Rosecrans is going to position his army outside of Murfreesboro with Bragg anticipating attack on the 30th. That attack does not come. Uh, both armies decide that the 31st, New Year's Eve, is the day that they want to attack each other, although Bragg there we go. That's uh, how is going to get the initiative here. Both their plans are to attack their flanks, uh, and, you know, it's going to be that circly move like we had at... at, at they yeah, sir, yeah, I was going to say, do I get, are they just going to run a big circle uh, around each other? But okay, Greg, cool. Bragg gets the initiative. He gets the attack off. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. He gets the attack off first. Gotcha. Uh, 
Uh, with both armies wheeling with Rosecrans on the defensive the whole battle, after several assaults, Rosecrans finds himself with his back against the Stones River. Uh, by noon, Rosecrans is actually going to call off his portion of the assault and instead form strong defensive oh, lines near Murfreesboro Nashville Turnpike, uh, with Confederates repeatedly bashing themselves into his lines, with Rosecrans able to hold his position, inflicting heavy casualties on the Confederates through the rest of this battle. At this point, yes, sir. Let's if go. we're going to give it a winner or a loser, so far the Confederates kind of have the upper hand. They are on the offensive. Uh, they do have Rosecrans with his back against the water. Rosecrans is on the defensive. Yeah, but he's messing them up. But he's now up. messing them up. Like, yeah, that, once he dug his lines hey, and man. he said, no, I'm standing and fighting, yeah. he made him pay a little bit for... Uh, for that movement. Oh, guess what? They can shoot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we, we, we shoot instead of just, yeah. Oh, we got <laughs> guns. Go- oh, shoot. We're, we're, who gave us these? Somebody use them. Yeah. Oh, it kills the enemy. This is amazing. So that's uh, yeah, it's kind of a wash. People dying for nothing really being exchanged uh, here. Of course. Um, Welcome to the war. Confederate. Cavalry uh, was able to swing around Rosecrans and capture several wagons uh, during the battle. But that, like I said, at the end of the day, both armies have dug in. They're, both armies are looking at each other. We'll have to see what uh, what transpires later down the road. Good news here, though. Okay. Knight in Bedford Forest is going to get hit by Union troops that are pursuing him as he's trying to get uh, back into Confederate territory. He's going to get hit on two sides, uh, losing 300 prisoners, a score of guns, horses, and a bunch of the material of war that he had captured on his raid. So all in all, his raids were unsuccessful because Ooh, almost everything that he did got taken back in this port. Undone, but he man. does. He yeah, is able beautiful. to escape. So he himself and his upper echelon of command are able to get out of there. But most of the rest of his men have been captured. Mm. So mm, I'll, take, I'll call it a victory. It's a victory. Uh, no, it, it is. It's not the best victory. You could have done better, but it, it, we got the little guys. We're at where we're at. Uh, and some shit. Burnside oh, on nice. New Year's Eve is going to get a New Year's present by being called for court martial charges. He's going to have to meet with Lincoln about that. <laughs> what a day. And that's for um, that, that, him that, that, just dicking around with the bridges? Yeah, this is for him, like, that whole snafu of Fredericksburg, yeah. Yeah, being, being a jackass and not doing shit and then getting absolutely fucking worked and then, yeah, uh, yeah. Not great. This yeah, is well-deserved. Uh, <laughs> Lincoln is going to sign. I mean, it's... You remember that, that, that state that should have been named Kanawha Johnny? Well, Lincoln is officially signing that state yeah, into yeah. Uh, existence. It will become an official state. Oh, in July, and so he's going to decide like, on that you know, Western once, Virginia you know, thing or bullshit thing. or what? Yeah, it's, it's it's yeah, it's a state. The House has passed it, Senate's passed it, Lincoln signed it. It will be a state. Uh, but he's calling year. it officially. What's he calling it? West Virginia. It's West Virginia. Dumbest name ever. That's so so. That's so stupid. Probably should change that to Kanawha. At least it's a little bit cooler than West Virginia. Mm. But here we are. I mean, because it. <laughs> you t- <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Lincoln is also on this anyway, day going to sign an agreement with a southern plantation owner for a colony of free men of color on Ilovecha in Haiti, where he is sending volunteer Wait, free what? men of color to that island where they will be given land in exchange for a certain amount of years of their life for labor. So that sounds a little Hold bit up. like slavery. Hold up. Continued. That is indentured servitude, Tommy, and there is a difference, be it negligible. Uh, but it's there. Uh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I can't understand. Um, yeah, why, I don't get this one either. Uh, they don't just give them land here. Lincoln wants them free, but he doesn't want them here. So back to where you didn't come yeah, from. Yeah, cuz they definitely didn't come from fucking but Haiti. You look kind of like the people that are over there, so eh, it's fine. You'll you'll fit right in. Uh, here's well, some you. land that you can work your life for uh, and then never really get. But good luck. Also, very busy day Jeez, on New Year's Eve. L- that Lincoln guy. Really. That's fair. Yep. Uh, also on uh, on New Year's Doing Eve, Trader President Davis is going to write his Secretary of War again saying, and I quote here, guns and ammunition most efficient against ironclads needed in Vicksburg. And once again, his Secretary of War is like, yeah, no, don't have it. Like, we get it. We don't, we can't, 
It would be totally nice if we could just give you endless guns but we don't, and, and ammunition. We don't, we don't have them, so... Yeah. Yep. Uh, in the new year, Johnny is going to open up with Lincoln declaring all slaves held in states of rebellion are free, free. effective September 22nd. Ah, oh, how fantastic. All of the states now that are in, act of rebellion. Uh, in rebellion are going to have to free their slaves on by account September 22nd. of Lincoln, the president. So he is of, also by, by when? It's two two things here. Uh, first, he's giving the states in the act of rebellion uh, till September twenty second to September uh, to not be in rebellion, and then they can keep their slaves. Or uh, Wait, they, they can will keep- lose their slaves on September twenty second if they are still in nine in months rebellion. That also means that. The slaves in Kentucky, Missouri, uh, Maryland, uh, Delaware, they're, 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 they're slaves. They're still slaves. Yeah, they're not going nowhere. No. Still. Not yeah, it doesn't nowhere. matter what their, their states, doesn't matter that their states are not in an act of rebellion. Yeah. At all. Because they're not. That, so. uh. Something. You know, Tommy, I don't, I don't want to say, but this, this Emancipation Proclamation kind of sucks. <laughs> It's not, the, it's not the greatest. Uh, it's kind of just useless. I, it, it, it feels... Is this an election year? What, I mean, what's going on? This mm-hmm. feels like... Uh, not quite. Uh, what's he doing here? A little political. Because yeah. this well. is just nothing. This is absolutely nothing. We're fighting to free the slaves now, Johnny. Now we've got a cause. So there's that. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess. Well, but... Only if... The slaves are in states where the states don't want to listen to Hare Lincoln. But if they want to go yeah. ahead and say, oh, well, listen to Hare Lincoln now, they can keep their slaves? Pretty much. Moving on, Johnny. Uh, Rosecrans and Bragg, they're going to reposition their troops with not actually much happening on the new year for fighting. Uh, Confederates are going to surround yeah. Galveston, Texas with makeshift cannon barges. They're going to siege the city and take it in four hours. So yay! Cool. Like we just took Why? that city like what last week. What are we doing week? in Texas? I don't know. We just took that city like last week or the week before with like a handful of troops, and now we lost it against a handful of troops. But who gives a shit? It's Texas. Why is anybody doing anything in Texas? I don't know. Get our boys out of Texas. Well, we're not. We're out of Texas. No one gives a shit about we're Texas. We're out of Texas now. At least out of Galveston. Well, good. I, don't go back in. Uh, Burnside, during his court martial trials, uh, is going to discuss uh, with Lincoln <laughs> that he has a new battle plan, Johnny. But his commanding officers, oh, does he's he? gonna say, look, is he going to cross? Is he going to build bridges faster? He's gonna, Listen, I got a great new battle plan, but I got to tell you, my commanding officers, they don't really like it. Uh, they also blame uh, me for the loss at Fredericksburg and uh, the Secretary of War Stanton uh, for the loss at, at Fredericksburg. So what I'm going to do is instead, since they don't like me anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and tender my resignation, uh, and I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna. I'm Everybody's gonna go, just fucking. I'm gonna go back and, and and just. I'm gonna go private life. And Lincoln says, "Nope, not allowed to go to private life. You're no, keeping your position." Of course not. God, because Lincoln wants everybody. He, he all he wants is people who don't want the job that they have. Yeah, pretty much. He's like, oh, if you want the job you have, you are in the wrong line of work. If you're happy in your work and you go to. Go to work every day, looking forward to it, and trying to make a difference and doing well. Well, I'll get the hell out of that line of work. Find something you want to quit, and I'll make you keep doing it. And apparently he became a wrestler 200 years from now. Yeah. Or whatever. Well, Lincoln, yeah. I definitely, I, I hate my job. I want to resign. I hate it. I hate playing with guns and reading news news articles to y'all. I, I don't, 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 don't let me keep it. Anyways. I, Johnny. Lincoln doesn't know your name. Uh, he does he? not. I'm There's a zero percent <laughs> chance of that. <laughs> just throwing that uh, out. Zero percent chance like, of that. Uh, that's probably for the best. It's probably, it's probably Only, a little bit. Yeah. Because it seems like everybody that he talks to is kind of a fuck up. Uh, and so it's a good thing that you're not on that list of, of people, people he's talking to, he putting in charge of things. Yeah. Employees puts in charge. Yeah. And and doesn't allow to resign when they clearly don't want to do the job anymore. <laughs> you're stupid. 
Well, I guess we'll have to wait. Love you, Lincoln. It's a happy Love new year, you. Johnny. Uh, and I guess we'll have to wait till uh, 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 next uh, next week to really see what transpires with uh, the Battle at Stones River and uh, and what happens with Burnside. Does he keep his command? Does he get demoted? Is somebody else going to be the Army of the Potomac? Uh, wait till next week. Find out. That's it for this week in Civil War in Hindsight. If you enjoy Civil War in Hindsight, check out Historic Hindsight, where uh, we do all kinds of fun things. Like we talk about uh, presidential assassination attempts, uh, how our presidents were all kind of a little bit douchey, uh, or uh, our war on drugs. That was a thing we did for a little bit. It was kind of fun. Uh, you remember the 90s with, uh, with you know, the D.A.R.E. program? Yeah, check that episode out. A lot of fun. <laughs>